Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm here with Anthony Haynes from Aquasol, uh, our production manager. If you've never met him, Anthony, thank you for coming in. No problem. Um, so we were talking earlier about uh, probes and some of the problems the guys run into from time to time. First thing you should be looking at um, is the millivolts that you're actually getting uh, from the electrode. Make sure it's correlating with the parts per million that you're getting from your test kit or uh, your spin touch unit. Okay, and how can they know that the they're getting the right relationship between what they're seeing from the probe and what they're seeing in the water with the spin touch? Uh, basically, uh, based off your parts per million, it should be within a certain ORP range. Um, sometimes uh, the electrodes have a tendency to go lower or even higher than what's actually putting out. That's the ORP we want to have in the end. Most but definitely. As long as it's, if they've got chlorine in the water and not super high CYA, it should be above 500, right? right. And not, not super way over not 800. Way over. Right? Right. And the pH probe, uh, we know that it's designed to have a negative 28 millivolts uh, at 7.5 pH, right. and then that's that's linear scale. Now, if, the, if they're not getting the right relationship uh, between those factors, what's uh, uh, some steps they can take to correct it? Uh, first off, you want to clean the electrode. You want to make sure you have a good basis to, to go from. I'm going to start off with the pH electrode. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it from the electrode fitting. or so. Do that. Out of the acid. In the fresh water. After the fresh water, go back to the flow cell. And on these, you don't want to cross thread the fitting, so you're going to go backwards till you feel it click and pretty much tighten it down from there. The well, first step would be testing the probe, uh, or cleaning the probe, I'm sorry. For, uh, uh, once you know that there's an issue, second uh, would be to test it once you've cleaned it, uh, and then make a determination whether it's Correct. good to go or if we need to make yeah. a change. And then after you clean it, you most definitely want to give it time to adjust. With under cleaning, you are putting the electrode under type of shock, so to say. Uh, you change the environment drastically when you clean it with mild detergent and the acid. They the hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to discuss the cup test. Uh, as always, you know, please like, subscribe, uh, and post your comments so that we can make these better. All right, thanks.